Cooper Cup is the best wide receiver right now in the NFL, in my opinion. Coming into next season, he's got to be listed as the number one best wide receiver. And I feel like that's really, really hard to debate right now because of the historic season he just had. You might be thinking, oh, Devontae Adams is the best wide receiver in the league. DeAndre Hopkins is the best wide receiver in the league. Tyreek Hill, maybe some of you are saying, is the best wide receiver in the league. But right now, going into next season, you cannot deny Cooper Cup that number one spot. Coming into this season, I thought Devontae Adams was the best wide receiver in the league. And for a large majority of the season, I still thought Devontae Adams was the best wide receiver in this league. I mean, he is incredible. He's probably number two on my list right now. But you got to keep in mind, he had Aaron Rodgers throwing to him for all those seasons. And yes, you can say what you want about Aaron Rodgers' postseason performances and all that, but Aaron Rodgers is still Aaron Rodgers. You might be saying, oh, Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill did not put up the numbers, first of all, that Cooper Cup had. And also... He had Patrick Mahomes throwing to him. And DeAndre Hawkins, who played for the Houston Texans with so many different quarterbacks and still put up insane numbers, right? Well, DeAndre, you know, DeAndre Hopkins was injured for a lot of this season. So it's kind of hard for me to put him at that number one spot, even though he has been incredible for such a long time and consistent for such a long time, no matter who the quarterback is. He was dealing with injuries this past season. Kind of hard to put him at that number one spot because we really didn't see what he could do. Cooper Cup, triple crown winner this year. So he led the league in receptions with 145 receptions. He led the league in receiving yards with 1,947 receiving yards. And he led the the league in receiving touchdowns with 16 receiving touchdowns. He also made the Pro Bowl. He's also an All-Pro. He's also a Super Bowl champ. He's He's also the Offensive Player of the Year. And oh yeah, he's also the Super Bowl MVP. ESPN Stats and Info, they put out this really, really cool tweet. It says, this season, Cooper Cup won the receiving triple crown, won offensive player of the year, won a Super Bowl MVP. Jerry Rice is the only wide receiver in NFL history to do all of those things in an entire career. Cup did that in a single season. A single season, guys. Jerry Rice is the GOAT wide receiver, in my opinion. Jerry Rice is the best wide receiver of all time, in my opinion. And I feel like a lot of people also think that. So if the GOAT wide receiver is the only one in the company of, you know, Cooper Cup and these accolades, you got to say Cooper Cup is the best wide receiver in the league right now. Right now. Because what he just did is insane. And that performance in the Super Bowl, after Odell Beckham Jr. went down, Who was the only one that Stafford was really throwing to with success? Cooper Cup. Everyone knows Stafford is throwing to Cooper Cup, right? Like, everyone knows once Odell Odell goes down, Stafford is the guy you got to cover. It makes it so much easier to double Cooper Cup, right? It makes it so much easier to do that because you know this guy's getting the ball. But he still performed. He still got that game-winning touchdown. I don't know, but this man just continues to get open. And let me say this about the quarterback play. Cooper Cup and Stafford, they have a great connection, right? They have a really, really good connection. But Stafford is not an elite quarterback, in my opinion. He's not a top five quarterback in the league, in my opinion. He's not a Patrick Mahomes. He's not an Aaron Rodgers. I'm not trying to disrespect Matt Stafford after he just won the Super Bowl. It's an amazing story. He, he, he you know, had a great season. He, he did a ton to really propel this team to the Super Bowl after they went to the Super Bowl with Jared Goff and couldn't get the win. Stafford was really one of those key missing pieces for this team. And it's not a surprise that once they traded for him, they won the Super Bowl in his first season. But Stafford still makes mistakes. Stafford is not one of those elite guys. And Cooper Cup is still putting up this crazy production with Stafford at quarterback. No no disrespect to Stafford, like I'm saying. He's a, he's a great quarterback. He's, he's better than the majority of the quarterbacks in the league. But he's not an elite top five quarterback. But I just, I just don't think it's really hit us how insane of a season Cooper Cup just had. He really did put the team on his back in a lot of ways. He really did do so much for this team. I mean, the game-winning touchdown in the Super Bowl, his route running is insane. He always finds a way to get open. He's got to be the best wide receiver in the NFL right now. He is. In my opinion, Cooper Cup, best wide receiver in the NFL right now. No debate. 
in my opinion. But maybe you have a different opinion. Let me know that in the comments down below if you think someone else is the best wide receiver in the NFL. If you're new here and you want to hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. And as always, if you want to hit that thumbs up button, it truly does help with the channel. That is it for this video, guys. Peace!